let us find out the difference between the energy and the power signals so the any signal which is having the finite energy that signal will come under the energy signal and any signal which is having the finite power that signals will be your power signals in this way we can say the energy and the power signals finite means it will vary from 0 to infinity so here what is what will be the differences between energy and power so energy is nothing but it will show the capacity of the signal to do some work or to do that work it is nothing but the capacity and what is the power that means at what rate that work is going to be done or you can say at what rate the energy is spent to do that work that is nothing but your power this is the first difference the next that is energy is positive or negative and the power is always positive so why energy is positive and negative we know that energy is nothing but the combination of your kinetic energy plus your potential energy and we know that the kinetic energy it is always related to your mass so it is always positive but the kinetic energy sorry but the potential energy it is related to your gravity so it can be your positive or it can be negative so depending on this potential energy this energy can be your positive or it can be negative if potential energy is positive in that case your total energy is positive if suppose potential energy is negative and if it is higher than the kinetic energy then your total energy will be the negative so therefore we are saying that this energy signal it can be positive or it can be negative and your power power is always positive how it is positive this power is nothing but your average power so how we will calculate the average power average power is calculated from the average instantaneous power instantaneous power and we know that this instantaneous power is given by the signal square because any signal if we have to take the square that will give you the instantaneous power so square of the signal whether the it signal is positive or negative but the square is always positive so here the square term is there and due to that the signal becomes positive so always this power signal is the positive signal so energy signal can be positive or can be negative but the power signal is always positive the next difference that is nothing but your formula formula for energy signal is given as e is equals to integration minus t to t mod of xt of square dt and the formula for the power signal is given as p is equals to 1 by 2t integration 0 to t x of t square dt this will be the formula for finding out the energy and the power of any signal the next is the energy signal is the non periodic signal and the power signal is the periodic signal what do we mean by periodic signal any signal which is having some pattern and it will repeat it continuously after a particular interval of time that signals is nothing but your periodic signals and every power signal is nothing but your periodic signal and if suppose any signal will not follow this condition that will be your non periodic signal and energy signals are the non periodic signals if we show by graphically or you can say by the figures the representative will be like this this is the representation of your energy signal which is here showing by the decreasing exponential signal and here you can see the power signal this power signal will follow some pattern and it will repeat it after continuous interval of time so this is nothing but your power signal so this is the you can say the diagrammatic representation or you can represent the energy and the power signal in this way the next that is energy signal is having no power and the power signal is having infinite energy so how we will say that when we say your energy signal every energy signal if suppose any signal is your energy signal that means that signal will have no power so how we will say that we know 
as i already told you before that average power average power is given by your nothing but the you can say your average instantaneous power or you can say your total power fine the total power divided by your total time this is nothing but how you can calculate your average power this total power is comes out from your instantaneous power that is nothing but if you integrate from minus infinity to infinity of the instantaneous power we will get the value of the total power here so from this we will get the value of the total power this instantaneous power is nothing but the square of the signal you can consider any signal that means square of any signal which is varies from minus infinity to infinity that will give you your instantaneous power and that will give you your total power and this is nothing but your integration minus infinity to infinity x square of t as we have seen previously only the formula of energy so this is nothing but your energy signal so this total power is nothing but your energy signal and here what is the total time this time is again vary from minus infinity to infinity so here you can say your total time will be the infinity as here the denominator is tending to infinity so we have to put the limits so when we are saying the average power that is nothing but you we can say the limit t tends to infinity this is nothing but your energy signal and this is nothing but your time signal and if this time signal is tending to infinity in that case this power will become zero so here whenever we are saying any signal is the energy signal that means it is having no power that means power is zero in that case here this is the proof how the power will be zero now when we say the power signal any signal is the power signal in that case it will having the infinite energy how it will having the infinite energy we know the formula for energy what is the formula for energy that is nothing but power into your time this power is always the finite value because here it is having the square root term so it is always having the finite value and this t t is varies from minus infinity to infinity so you can say this t will always goes to the infinity varies from minus infinity to the plus infinity so any finite quantity multiplied with the infinity what we will get that is nothing but infinity so here the energy is nothing but infinite so any signal which is nothing but the power signal in that case it is having the infinite energy so here always remember that energy signals any signal which is having only the energy signals that signals will having no power and if suppose the signal is the power signal in that case that signal will have the infinite energy so these are all the differences between the energy and the power signal Thank you.